Today we are in sunny Morpeth. Now Morpeth is up in Northumberland, which is the north part of the England. And I'm on the hunt today for a castle. It's called Midford Castle. And I've been, all I know is, this is what I've been told. So I'm expecting big things. I've been told it's 11th century. So think how old that is. This better be impressive. So I want drawbridge, people on horses, um, a village idiot in stocks, a court jester, and if possible, a dragon. So that'll be nice. So I really am expecting big things because if you've seen my video on Starlight Castle, despite the name Starlight Castle, it was lackluster. That's what, I'll, that's what I'll call it, because I'm being nice. So, weather today, mm, changeable. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to pop out here and get across this bridge. And apparently you get to it via this strange walk called Ladies Walk. Now, whether that means you've got to walk like a lady, I don't know. So we'll, we'll have a look. Toodaloo, wish me luck. Here we are on the ladies walk. God knows why it's called ladies walk, but some nice houses through there, which you can't see. <laughs> so this is ladies walk, apparently refurbished and there's an abbey, but as usual, you can't go in there, not allowed. So we'll just continue and see if we can find this amazing castle. So it'll have to be here somewhere. This path goes on for miles. You can hardly see the river down there. But, nice day, so I'm going to take my time. That's where I've come from. That's a road, if you hadn't spotted it. And this is where I'm heading. So I really should get off the road, but I'm letting you see what's going on. Now there's supposed to be an abbey or something across there, but it's on private ground or something, so I'll take that down. So as usual, oh you can't, no you can't learn about history, how dare you, get off my private land. Aha, private, no dogs, oh, you mean like that dog there, oh, no one seems to be bothered. Oh well, maybe it's just an advisory, yeah? Now if dogs aren't allowed, is that seagull? Oh, very naughty, wildlife on grass.
Finally, I found the footpath. So, very nice area, all private, yes. This country is becoming infested with obnoxious signs saying keep out and private and I wonder how uh, people seem to cope in Scotland. Never mind. Aye, so. There's supposedly an abbey over there, but we're not allowed to have a look because some obnoxious, nasty person I'll say <laughs> says we aren't allowed. So we'll continue on to the castle. Now, I, I've hardly seen anyone other than that guy there walking his dog on a field that says don't walk dogs. I like that, you see. I like a rebel. Always fight the system. Because the system isn't always right. If it was, we'd still be burning witches, wouldn't we? So, you must move on and fight the system. That's enough of my rambling anyway. Anyway, I need to be very careful in this area. Because this is the area very close to the hunting grounds of the Fell Wanderer. Big shout out to the Fell Wanderer. So I'm going to try a Fell Wanderer war cry in a moment. Well actually I'll do it away from these houses in case I think I'm ready to be committed to a mental asylum. So we'll continue up this road. Here's a crossroads right now. Just come to the end of the houses, which you can see behind me. And if you're David Bellamy or an adventurer, you can actually find the signs in there in the undergrowth. So that's Batter Morbeth. That is Kirk Hill, wherever the hell that is. I think I've actually been up there, it's nice. And this way, please close the gate, is the way to Mitford it should be so we're still making progress here now the river is just over that way so mop us that way river is continuing along and the sun's eventually come out watch I've said that give it 10 seconds it'll be gone nice house over there so we're probably quite close although I haven't said that Midford to drive. I'm sure it's about five minutes from Morpeth, so we'll just have to see. And look at those clouds over there. For boarding. We will survive though. Some horses in that field. So I anyway, as I was saying earlier, two things. I'm sick and tired of all these signs saying private and keep out. And secondly, I'm gonna try a fell wanderer war cry. I'll try one here. Get out and do a bit of welcoming. Didn't hear anything. You know it makes sense. Nope. I'll try another one later on because I, I just know you'll be around here somewhere. Big props to Fell Wanderer. He, he puts a lot of time and effort into his videos. So, uh, you know, people should appreciate that very unselfish person you can tell he's a good guy anyway just from his videos he's got a good nature right we're nearly at the road so I shall keep you up to here look at the size of that house behind me see it who would live in a house like that James Bond or a farmer
public footpath. Okay. We've got another road. So you cross this and this takes you to some sort of woods, but then I want to get to the castle. So where are we? Castle. Here's the castle. We must be I don't know, somewhere, somewhere around there. Oh, there's a cheeky squirrel. And look at that. There's even a cop dog. Here's a selection of animals which you will fail to notice. Good. Let's make, let's get on with it then. <laughs> Extremely quiet here. Not many clouds, and there's there's the rare, much sought after UK sun. Not very often seen. We are hot on the trail of this castle. So anyway, as I was saying, how does Scotland cope when they don't seem to have the same silly laws? On regards access to land. I mean, I understand you don't want people walking around every jot of land, but come on. If people are just going for a walk, and I don't, I'm not one of these ramblers who says, I, you know, I want the right to trip through some turnips in a field. All I want to do is walk about without silly signs. So I just think they could do with it, do it a bit more nice. Look at all these stinging nettles. Which are lethal. Now if you ever get stung by one of these, if you have a look around for a dock leaf, which I can't actually find to show you. There's some in that field there, but it's a way of neutralizing the sting. Well, somewhat. It certainly doesn't cure it, but it helps. If I find one, I shall let you see. Finally, dock leaf. Now this is the leaf that you want if you get stung by a nettle. Stinging nettle that is, not this type which is a thistle actually. Stinging nettles look like this and they're a bugger. So get the leaf, roll it up. You actually need more than this but this is due for an example. And then scrunch it up with a load of spit get the juice out and get that on see that green it's hard to see there you go some juice coming out get that on that does genuinely help so dock leaf and they generally grow in the same area as nettles which is very handy so medical tips aside let's continue Here I am in the middle of a field somewhere. Now, what is this behind me? It's a cross between a metal tarantula and a prison. God knows. And behind me, some cows kicking about. 
So I haven't passed a single person. Now I can either go that way or up into the woods. So God knows which way it is. I think it's down, so I'm gonna head down. Mitford, we are he eventually going to get to our target. Now, I'm not going to Athis Dean or whatever the hell that's called because look, you got to go up that to claim the Himalayas. So I'll go this way instead. We must be on the right track because there's the river. Got to be right. We're now in the spooky forest. Deep in the forest now, well, woods. I'm still following this river, but which way do you go? Do you go that way or do you go that way? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go that way for a laugh. Because when you're in doubt, just do it for a laugh and it normally works out for the best. So there's the river continuing behind me. So let's see what we'll find.
just crossed a nice field full of sheep there who weren't particularly bothered normally sheep are pretty timid but they couldn't care less so there's a big field down there now I reckon if I head down at that golden looking field down this steep hill I reckon we're on the right track because the signs aren't the best so wish me luck that I don't go arse over the proverbial and we'll meet again in accident and emergency well I made it down that hill just now there's the water so I have to be close to where I need to be have to be I don't know what that is over there there's like a wire or something that goes over the water now what on earth is that it's off there uh, chucking the sheep across oh, oh, what the hell is it I'll have a quick look and I'll see if I can work my way along because I need to be going that way before it rains again <laughs> now what on earth is that? not a seat <laughs> I wouldn't sit on it you'd get dunked no I want to continue along here you know the one good thing about the uh, the weather in the UK you get some dramatic clouds so yeah we don't get all the sun we want but you get some pretty cool looking clouds you could probably cross there when the water's low I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try it now what's that building over there Like some sort of World War II machine gun nest. So let's go and have a look. Because that's the way I need to go, which is along the river. But I want to know what that is. Still some uh, threatening looking clouds, but if I'm sat in there with a machine gun, it's not a problem. <laughs> let's have a look.
well here I am on top of that bunker thing that was tiny in there I mean I was down on hunkers just to get in so that's got to be old I can only presume it's defensive near a river you know not very well hidden but you could use it I suppose to lay down some fire but you're exposed I mean where would you get back there it's you know, it's like the old adage, oh yes, well if I was a sniper I'd get into a tree, right, how are you going to get down if they find you? So, I don't know what this is, but we'll get down, it's pretty high up. <laughs> Here's an interesting tree. Here's the seeds. And what you can do is... Separate it. So there's one seed. It works like a propeller. So if I throw this over here, it should look like a descending helicopter. Are you ready? Are you ready for failure? I should say. See it? Might have to slow that down, <laughs> but it does work. I presume that's to help the seeds spread. The longer it takes to hit the floor, the more wind you're going to pick up and the further from the tree you're going to get. So it makes sense. Some nice houses there. Still haven't got past this bleeding field though. And there's that gun emplacement over there or whatever the hell it is. If I don't find a castle soon, I think I'll just make a sandcastle, I give up. There has to be one soon. Because there's enough bloody flies, I know that. I'm being eaten alive. I do have some deet, but I can't be able to put it on because it tastes like, uh, you know, school dinners. Horrible. And again, come all this way, not a single person. So if you're after a cheeky little walk out on a Sunday, you want a bit of peace and quiet, this is perfect. I mean, you can see this is a, tr this is a path, probably used by animals as well, but humans have pushed this grass down. It's just probably not a well-known place, or the population locally is low. Look at that sky. It better not rain again. How's that for a view? I eventually found the footpath and there's a small bridge over there and a stone bridge over there and it looks like there's a waterfall down there I'm going to follow this Christ, Texas Chainsaw Massacre has been through here <laughs> Thankfully There's a nice plate fungus So. Let's see what's knocking about. It's very peaceful here, not a lot of people. Now there's the sign. So I need to double back. Goodness me. Well, that's fluffy. So I need to double back. Public footpath. I can see how old that is. Look. Look at the indentation. 
So that's a little bridge there. And there's houses down there, I think. And just in the distance, you see the top of the church. So I know, well, I think I do. You know what us men are like? I think I need to go down here and right. And the castle should be somewhere over there. Well, wish me luck. And there is the wall of Mitchford Castle. I've come up all these bumps which look like Teletubby land. <laughs> Didn't see any Teletubbies but that's what it looks like. This would be great for a camp. Someone's already had a camp there, there's the fire. You're in a natural small valley. Can you run and see if I can find the rest of this castle? I'm hoping this one actually has a roof on it. As most of the castles are come to find their own ruin. Ah, it looks pretty overgrown. But 11th century, that's pretty damn old. There's a bit of controversy actually, they reckon it might even be 10th, but can you prove it? More likely to be 11th. Look at that. These guys. They're looking very 
pretty sheepish. What's wrong with you? Hoof it. They're quite brave for sheep because most sheep bugger off straight away. Hello, sheep gang. How are you doing? It's a real strange place, this. Nobody around. And it's got like a small natural valley. There's a church over there. There's one of the walls that's left of this bloody castle. Not a lot left. I'm going to head up and have a look.
Well, there's not a lot of this place left. Not a lot. But it's nice. And it's peaceful. And it's free. All things I like. But I must try a Fell Wanderer war cry. So, you know it makes sense. No response. I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock on a log later on. So I might have a cuppa and then bugger off. <laughs> but it's nice here. Look, someone's already had a fire. Not particularly good one, but they've certainly had a fire in here. So you could camp in here, no problem. Very nice.
Just make myself a cup of coffee here. And the good old alcohol stove. It'll take a while though, I can hear it heating up. Sun is still out, my god, I never thought it was possible. So still nobody around, absolutely nobody. Lovely day. Sun's out. Very windy, very windy. So that's why I'm down here. Making a cup. So you can see that's starting to that's starting to go now. Just a little bit of meth in and end up with a nice cup of coffee. Easy peasy. And I use these. I can't be bothered messing about. So I'm going to have this coffee and I might do a cheeky time lapse for fun. So catch you soon. That's getting towards the boil there. I would say we're cooking with gas, as the old saying goes, but we're not. We're cooking with methylated spirits. That's virtually done. I'm going to have a cup there and I'll do a little time lapse. <laughs> Sun is going down and I'm going home. Last of the sun. It's still lovely and quiet here. Nice place. Rabbit's playing down there. So let's make a move before it gets either raining or dark.
heading back. Just ran up a hill. <laughs> wow, tell you something, these Sacronis, peregrines, they grip like a m I don't like walking through TC. I know they're better, but come on, I'm in a field, I'm not on the Himalayas. Sun's about to go down. Well, okay, we've got a while. I'll get back. Well, that was nice. Not a lot left of that uh, castle, but really nice. Really, really nice place. And hopefully, I'm going the right way. <laughs> Saw plenty of rabbits before there. Which way is it? Before we lose the last of the light. So I can't complain, it's been a good trip. Nice area as well. Metford Castle. Not bad. Still not back. It's longer than you think. I'm nearly getting back in the motors. I've still got at least another say ten minutes. So I'm not there yet. I think I timed it right. The sun's going down now as you can see. But I'm not scared of the dark, you know, I'm not three. In fact, when I was a kid, the dark didn't really bother me. I used to go out in the pitch black. Sometimes a preference to do that than hang around with people. So, give it another 10 minutes and I should be back there. You can hear the You can hear the pigeons roosting. A funny, a big fat bird. Well, I'm back. That was only about five miles then back. And I've walked about 10 today anyway, so that's nothing. So, Mitford Castle. Well, again, no bloody roof, so no surprise there. It's always the same. Every every time I go somewhere, it looks like it's been bombed out. 
but it's worth a visit because it's nice and peaceful. I saw two people and a dog, and that was it, and just some sheep. So, so it's definitely worth getting there. And you can park for free in Morpeth. So, I do not pay to park. I hate that. So it's definitely worth it. Um, I just hope I got some footage because my battery ran out. But what is it with battery tech at the moment? It's poor. I mean, we had nickel cadmium, which was rubbish. Had memory effects and all that. Then we had nickel metal hydride, which was much better than lithium ion or lithium polymer. Same thing, probably. Um, much better, but capacity wise, batteries are rubbish. Although, having said that, I'm, I'm shooting all this on a Galaxy S8 and very impressed with the battery. The, Snapdragon 835, very fuel efficient. So press for that. Anyway, enough techno babble. Had a nice trip out. Cheeky cuppa, took some photos and parked for an out. So it's now uh, about eight o'clock or something. So I'm gonna head back. Cause I've got to go to the gym. I've got to do about an hour's weights. And then I'll have a look at the footage and then I'm up at half five for work, so I'm not happy about that. Um, but and I didn't find the fell wanderer, not a sight. I didn't knock on any wood, but you know, we'll see. Okay, so goodbye, or should I say, good night. <laughs>